For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, he is the Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, God is with us. Christmas is the fulfillment of God's promise of peace and love to humanity. It is the realization of, of His divine will for our lives. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. We have traversed in confidence and safety throughout this year. As we contemplate with joy the end of 2017, we are forever thankful to our Heavenly Father for His providence upon Samoa. Our numerous accomplishments were undoubtedly achieved not without difficulties, but we have persevered and emerged victoriously because God was in control. I wish to acknowledge the former Head of State for his leadership during his tenure as head of state over the last 10 years. Your priceless contribution to this country has been tremendous and your achievements as head of state would be remembered. I thank the Honorable Prime Minister and Cabinet and the Parliament of Samoa for this great honor upon my humble person which has enabled me to continue my service to Samoa as Head of State. I began as a public servant over 50 years ago, and I thank our Lord for His will in my life to be always a servant to you, Samoa, and our people. Over the last six months as Head of State, I have witnessed numerous achievements of the government in terms of our infrastructure, information technology, agriculture and fisheries, community-based projects, environment, education and health, and our global recognition as host country to international and regional meetings. These accomplishments are a reflection of solidarity and unity within government and durable partnerships with our development partners, private sector, and our village communities. Every great achievement emanates from clear and shared vision. Where there is vision, there is clarity, confidence, and determination to work collaboratively. In this connection, I express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the government for the milestone achievements this year. This ostensibly come with many challenges, but you have kept your faith and commitment to deliver the services to our people whom we serve. There is a marked separation of talking and working. Many have mastered the culture of wishful thinking and pessimism, but failed to deliver. A government that rests on wishful thinking and dwells on pessimistic views will not accomplish what it sets out to do. But through faith and belief that we do everything under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we plan and deliver what is best for Samoa. I thank all the people of Samoa for another successful year of hard work. The nation continues to advance and without your support and contributions to the development of our country and eagerness to share your visions with government, we would not have come this far. I acknowledge especially the leadership at every sphere of the country's development. Leadership is more than just ability. It is the blend of courage, assiduousness, character, and the ability that causes people to respond and to follow. I have closely witnessed over many years that Samoa as a Christian country has survived because of government stability, harmony, and unity amongst our people, and our faith in Jesus Christ, our rock, our fortress, and our hope in glory. The cosmos continues to bring inevitable changes to our lifestyles and priorities as a, as a developing nation. Without peace, there is no unity. Without unity, there is no love. The message for Christmas is to love and live in peace with one another. Recent, recent eruption of violence around the world, and particularly in the Middle East, 
should be contemplated with much interest, as Israel is God's prophetic time clock. And, and as a country founded on God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we should be very mindful of and not be complacent with what is happening around the world. There are many difficulties that the world is going through today, including Samoa, that have caused so much damage to humanity and constantly fuel physical and spiritual unrest. Hence, I implore that we continue to fast and pray for the deliverance and protection of our nation, Samoa, and the world from the snares of the devil. This Christmas, let us come together as a nation and glorify Jesus Christ, the name above all names, our hope in glory and our peace. He reminds us that peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Let the end of the year 2017 be a time of restoration of our souls, health, contentment, unity, harmony, and above all, our intimacy with God. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, he is the Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, God is with us. I wish all the families and people of Samoa a Merry Christmas and a peaceful New Year. God bless Samoa. So if you are.